31 Atlas right here just popped up on astronomers radar a few days ago. Something strange just entered our solar system and it's moving fast. The James Webb Space Telescope, along with other observatories, just picked up a new object flying in from deep space. It's bigger than Oumuamua, brighter than anything like it we've seen before, and it's not from here. Astronomers are calling it 3i slash A-T-L-A-S. And here's the shocking part. It might not stay on its current path. Some experts now say there's a chance it could shift course and head toward Earth. Is it just a wandering rock? Or is something guiding it? Whatever it is, this story is just beginning. A stranger enters our solar system. Something strange just entered our solar system, and it's moving fast. The James Webb Space Telescope, along with other observatories, just picked up a new object, flying in from deep space. It's bigger than Oumuamua, brighter than anything like it we've seen before, and it's not from here. Astronomers are calling it 3i slash A-T-L-A-S, the third object ever recorded that came from outside our solar system. It showed up with no warning, spotted on July 1st by a telescope in Chile. Since then, scientists have been scrambling to track it. They dug into older data and realized this object had been flying toward us since mid-June, silent, unnoticed, and unbelievably fast. Right now, it's 420 million miles from Earth, that sounds far, but in space terms, it's surprisingly close. It's moving at about 68 kilometers per second, more than 150,000 miles per hour. That's too fast to be from our solar system. Things that live here, like planets and asteroids, move in wide loops around the sun. But this thing, it's flying straight through. No loop, no return. That's what makes it different. That's what makes it worrying. Scientists are excited, but there's tension too, because as it moves closer, its path could change. Just a small push from the sun or from gases leaking off its surface could nudge it in a new direction. And some experts are already saying that new direction might point toward Earth. The visitors that came before. This isn't the first time something has come from beyond our solar system. In 2017, we saw Oumuamua, a long, flat, tumbling object that shot through space faster than anything we'd ever tracked. It had no tail like a comet, no dust like an asteroid. It didn't fit into any category. Some scientists wondered, was it natural or was it built? It moved so strangely, changing speed and direction slightly, even though there was no gas or force pushing it. That raised big questions. Could it have been a probe, a fragment of something else? We still don't know. Then in 2019 came 2 i slash borisov the second confirmed interstellar object. This one looked more like what we'd expect from a comet. It had a bright coma, a visible tail, and behaved like the comets that orbit our sun. But its speed told a different story. It came from far beyond. Now, in 2025, comes 3 i slash a t l a s it's not just another space rock. It's bigger than Oumuamua, about 20 kilometers wide, almost the size of a small city. It's brighter, it's faster, and it's arriving from the direction of the galactic center, a place packed with stars, black holes, and extreme conditions. That's a new twist. The first two came from quieter, outer parts of the galaxy. This one is different. Maybe that means it's older. Maybe it means it's traveled farther. Or maybe, it's something else entirely. Whatever it is, scientists agree. This is our best chance yet to learn what's really out there. But we may also be about to learn something much more unexpected. A path too perfect. The path three, I slash. A-T-L-A-S is taking through our solar system is almost too perfect. Most objects that orbit the sun move in loops, circles, or ovals that bring them back again and again. But 3i slash A-T-L-A-S isn't looping. It's flying straight through, on a path so direct, it's like a line drawn across a map. That's a sign it came from somewhere far beyond the sun's reach. Right now, it's moving toward the sun. On October 2nd, it will swing by Mars, coming just 18 million miles from the red planet, then, on October 30th, it'll make its closest pass to the Sun, just inside Mars's orbit. 
That's called perihelion. And for comets, it's when things usually heat up. After that, it'll continue past the sun and begin its exit, in theory. But here's where things get complicated. Comets don't always behave. As they get closer to the sun, they heat up. That heat makes gas and dust explode off their surface. Those tiny explosions can push the object off course, just slightly, but at these speeds, a slight push can mean a massive change in direction. And that's exactly what has some astronomers worried. If enough material vents off from one side, 3i slash ATLAS could shift. That could change its orbit, not just slightly, but enough to point it toward Earth. Right now, it's expected to pass about 167 million miles from us in December. But that could change. And if it does, we might not have much warning. Some scientists are quietly tracking the object day and night, not just for science, but for safety. Because this visitor might not pass us by, it might decide to come closer. Is something controlling it? What if this thing isn't just drifting? What if it's being steered? It sounds like science fiction, but that's a question some experts are actually asking. Not on the news, not in headlines, but behind the scenes. Back in 2017, when Oumuamua zipped past Earth, it moved in ways that didn't make sense. It changed speed slightly, even though nothing was pushing it. That led some scientists, including Harvard's A.V. Loeb, to suggest it might have been a probe from another civilization. Not a spaceship with passengers, but a kind of interstellar drone. Now, 3i slash ATLAS is showing signs that are just as strange. Its path is nearly perfect. It's stable, clean, fast, and aimed right through the heart of the solar system. It's already losing mass, like a comet should. But the pattern of that release is odd. Some astronomers say the tail is uneven. Others say it's coming off too early, too far from the sun. That's not normal. Could something be guiding it? We don't have proof, not yet. But the timing is eerie. This is the third interstellar object we've seen in less than 10 years. Before that, we'd never seen even one. Either our technology just got lucky, or something has changed. Could these be scouts? Could they be watching? Or are they just lost rocks drifting through space? We don't know. But it's becoming harder to say that it's just a coincidence. And if 3i slash ATLAS changes direction suddenly, if it swerves, if it slows down, if it reacts in any way we don't expect, it might be the first real clue that we're not alone. Five, is it alone? There's one question no one wants to ask out loud, but it's on every scientist's mind. Is this the only one? 3i slash ATLAS came in fast and quiet. By the time we spotted it, it had already been flying toward us for weeks. If we hadn't looked in the right place at the right time, we might have missed it completely. So now scientists are checking again, going back through old data, watching other parts of the sky. Because if one object like this can slip in, maybe there are others, and some think there might be. New scans have picked up faint signals, tiny, fast-moving dots in the dark, flying on strange paths. Nothing confirmed, but whispers are starting. Could this be a wave, not one object, but many? Moving quietly, spaced apart, each entering on its own time? What if this is just the first to be noticed? Think about it. If someone wanted to study us, really study us without being seen, they wouldn't send one giant ship. They'd send small, fast probes, spread out, quiet, hidden in plain sight. Right now, 3i slash ATLAS is the focus. But maybe that's the point, a distraction, a test, or maybe it really is alone. But here's the thing, the sky is big, the solar system is wide, and our eyes are only just starting to see clearly. So maybe the better question isn't, is it alone? Maybe it's, what happens when the next one arrives? What if it comes closer? Right now, 3i slash ATLAS is expected to stay far away. On its current path, it won't come closer than 167 million miles from Earth. That's almost twice the distance between Earth and the Sun. But comets aren't like planets. They don't always stick to their planned routes. As 3i slash ATLAS approaches the Sun, it's heating up fast. And when that happens, its surface starts to break down. Gases trapped deep inside burst out, spraying dust and vapor into space. That release doesn't happen evenly. 
it can push the comet off its original course. This isn't just a theory. We've seen this happen before. Some comets change direction after they pass near the sun. Others break apart completely. But with something as fast and massive as 3, I slash A T L A S, 20 kilometers wide, moving over 150,000 miles per hour, even a tiny shift could put it on a much closer path to Earth. NASA says there's no threat for now, but some scientists are running models to test what if scenarios. What if the orbit changes by just 0.01%? What if outgassing on one side lasts longer than expected? What if it hits a patch of solar wind strong enough to tip its path? There are no alarms yet, but no one is looking away. Because if this thing moves closer, Earth has no defense ready for an interstellar object. We can't stop it. We can't slow it down. And we might not see it coming in time. Right now, 3i slash ATLAS is a science mystery. But under the right conditions, it could become something much worse. If it hit us. Let's be honest, what happens if it doesn't miss? 3i slash ATLAS is estimated to be 12 to 20 kilometers across. That's more than double the size of the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. That asteroid was only about 10 kilometers wide, and it caused wildfires, tsunamis, a global winter, and mass extinction. If 3i over ATLAS were to hit Earth, especially at its current speed of over 68 kilometers per second, the energy released would be off the charts. We're talking about a global impact, not just a local disaster. The explosion would release more energy than a billion nuclear bombs. Even if it landed in the ocean, the effects wouldn't stay there. The vaporized water would shoot into the atmosphere, blocking sunlight. Crops would fail. Global temperatures would drop. It could be the kind of event that ends civilizations. And here's the chilling part. Unlike asteroids from our own solar system, we can't track these interstellar objects well in advance. We don't see them until they're already close. We only spotted 3IATLAS two weeks ago. If it had been on a collision course, we'd be too late. The DART mission showed we can nudge asteroids, barely. But that was a slow rock, moving at 15,000 miles per hour. 3I slash ATLAS is moving 10 times faster. So what happens if it veers toward us? The truth is, we don't have a plan. We're watching it. We're learning. But if something goes wrong, we might not have time to act. And that's what makes 3I slash ATLAS different. It's not just an object. It's a test of our science, our technology, and how ready we really are for the unknown. The moment we lose sight. In early December, 31 slash ATLAS will disappear behind the sun. For a few weeks, Earth won't be able to track it. Telescopes can't see through the sun's glare. That moment, when it's hidden, will be the most tense. Because if its path changes while it's out of view, we won't know until it's already coming back around. This is called a solar conjunction, when a celestial object lines up behind the sun from our point of view. During this time, communication and observation become nearly impossible. It's like someone switching off the lights in the middle of a mystery. Astronomers are rushing to gather every piece of data they can before that moment. They want to understand its shape, its spin, its structure, anything that could predict what it might do. And once it comes back into view in late December, we'll know more. If its path is unchanged, Earth breathes easy. If not, well, we'll be on the clock. 3i slash ATLAS is expected to remain visible until mid-2026, if nothing unexpected happens. But its entry has already challenged how we look at space. It's shown how little warning we get from interstellar visitors, and how fragile our sense of safety really is. Maybe it passes by quietly. Maybe it brings answers to questions about life, space, and other worlds. Or maybe, just maybe, it brings something else. Either way, this is more than a comet. This is a message from the universe, from time, from something that moves through stars and silence and finds us not by accident, but by intention. And when it comes back into view, we'll be watching. What you've just heard isn't just a story about a comet. It's a warning, a wonder, a window into the unknown. 3i slash ATLAS is flying through our solar system right now. Silent, fast, and unpredictable. 
It could be a rare gift of science, or a reminder of how little control we have when the universe decides to knock on our door. If you want to follow this story as it unfolds and dive deeper into the mysteries shaping our skies and our future, subscribe. There's more coming, and the next object might not just pass us by.